Hello, hello, and welcome to the video. Today, I'll be showing you how to make this dark oak tower. So, without further ado, let's get into it. First, we're going to take our calcite and place it seven blocks wide. Then, we are going to raise it by another five blocks, so six blocks in total from the corners. Now, as we get to the top layer, we're going to skip those two blocks on either side. We are going to instead fill those in with stone bricks. Continuing on with the stone bricks, we will raise it by one more layer. Then we are going to place stone brick walls in the center as shown here with a two block gap in the center. From there, we will place another stone brick wall on top and raise the sides. Then going to the side, we are going to add our stone brick stairs. This is what it looks like so far. Now adding our third story, made out of birch planks. Now because this room is going to be a tad smaller than the rest, we are not going to add that final block at the end. Once those two layers are up, we are going to place those two blocks and with a temporary block, raise it up by two and place another block with those gaps in between. Then we are going to add our trap doors in these specific spots. And this is the finished wall. Now we are going to go back to the bottom and break those blocks to make a window. Oh, and by the way, to make the door, just make the hole one block lower. But for this wall, it is going to be a window. Now all you'll need to do is make that three more times in a box and this is what it should look like in the end. Note that at least one of the sides should have a door. The roof will be made of amethyst, so we're going to raise it by two blocks and out by two. Then we are going to be adding two more blocks on the side, followed by one more block, then two, then one more. Now just copy this design on all other sides. When you are finished, it should look like this. Now moving on to the decoration, we are going to be taking our dark oak logs and bringing it all the way from the top to the bottom here. Next, going to the side, we will be placing dark oak fences four blocks tall then placing a dark oak plank on top, we will then continue the fence pattern all the way to the top. Again, make sure to complete this on both sides. Now on the front sides here, put four more fences and then a dark oak slab on top of it. Now taking our dark oak slabs, put it in this pattern here. Then place a dark oak stair underneath. Bringing out the arch by one block, make sure that the new arch is one block lower than the other. To add the windowsill, place a dark oak slab, followed by two dark oak trapdoors on the sides. Then add two dark oak fences on either side, followed off by a dark oak stair upside down and two slabs. Then place a trapdoor, followed by two dark oak slabs on the bottom, and then add two dark oak stairs to the sides. To finish off the design, take a dark oak trapdoor and place it on the top and the bottom of the side, then place a dark oak sign in the center. The lower design should look like this. Moving on to the middle layer, take a trap door and place it above the arch in this pattern. Then take your dark oak stairs, one upside down and one on top, should look like that. Do it again on the other side. Then place two more dark oak fences on the sides with an upside down dark oak stair on top. 
Now making another arch like we did below, we are going to be continuing the same design. This section is now finished. Now to the top of the roof, place three dark oak planks with the dark oak slab on top. Now cap the other sides with a dark oak plank, followed by a dark oak slab on top. Note, just put two slabs here on the sides as well. And there you have it, this is the final design. Once again, copy this on all four sides as shown here. Now for the side with the door, everything remains the same except this small section below here, where we will take instead a dark oak plank, followed by a dark oak sign covering it. Then take our two dark oak fences, and place a dark oak stair in the middle, followed by two dark oak slabs. And this is what it should look like. Going back to the top, finish the design by adding a trap door, a dark oak slab, then three dark oak planks, with dark oak trap doors on two of them. Now copy this on all four sides. For one last detail, go ahead and add three lanterns on each side in these places here. Now moving on to the inside, place a spruce stair here, then replace the floor with spruce planks. And add a door behind you. To make the floor above you, start on the layer where the stone bricks start and add spruce stairs in all four corners. Then fill in the remaining holes with spruce slabs. Now you may choose a corner to place your ladder. Once above, place down a spruce trap door. Now copy the pattern of the floor we did below, but this time in birch stairs. Now we will create a pillar to the top with spruce planks in the center of the floor. Make sure to add an extra birch slab on the top. Now for all of the windows, we are going to be placing a white stained glass pane. Make sure to add this in every window of the tower. Once you are done, the complete tower should look like this. For those of you who made it to the end, maybe leave a like and drop a comment saying if you would like more of these videos. My friend JU91 also does house building tutorials, so if you'd go over to her channel, that would mean a lot to both of us, I'll put her link in my description. With that being said, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.